Hey everyone, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this poppy bouquet. All of the products I'm using will be listed down in the description box below if you're interested. I'm painting these poppies pretty loose, so I'm creating the shape of the flower and not worrying too much about each individual petal. I'm leaving a little bit of white space in the center of where I'll be adding the yellow paint in later. For these sideways poppies, I'm kind of making them look like upside down umbrellas. <laughs> That's really the best way I can think of to describe them. They don't look like much now, but when we get the details in there, hopefully they'll look a little bit more like a poppy. I'm just adding more of these loose poppies, keeping them kind of close together since they're in a bouquet. To get this light pink color, I just added a lot of water to the cadmium red I was already using on the flowers right before these. Now I'm going in and I've added a little dot where I want the bottom of my stems to hit. And now I'm just gonna go in and add the stems to each of my poppies. I want the stems to kind of end up in the same general place. And now I'm going to go in and add leaves to fill in any weird spaces and to help the bouquet feel balanced. I want to keep these leaves pretty loose, so I'm just letting the shape of my brush determine the shape of the leaves, rather than trying to paint an outline and then fill it in. Now I'm mixing my gouache to go in the center of my poppies. I'm using gouache paint because it's opaque and it will be easily seen over the watercolor I've already put down.
I'm not really trying to be precise. I'm just putting down some paint in the centers and sometimes the white is showing and sometimes it's not. I just wanted to keep these pretty loose. I'm adding in little dots around each of the yellow circles I've already put down to look like the stamen in the centers. I was thinking I was done at first, but then I thought this bouquet needed a little more contrast. So I went in and darkened up a few of the flowers just to brighten everything and add more interest. And it still felt like it needed a little more depth, so I added some darker green leaves, which I think really helped the bouquet pop. And there you have it! If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a new watercolor video every Wednesday. If you have a request for a flower, color, or technique you'd like to see in a future video, leave a comment down below or let me know over on Instagram. You can find me at Snowberry Design Co. I also wanted to let you know about my free 21 day watercolor challenge happening right now. You can sign up using the link in the description box below if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!